Welcome to FastClick Massive Tutorial. This video will cover the voicing page and I will be providing you with basic knowledge and examples if necessary. This allows you to control various parameters dealing with voices and polyphony. It is a style where individual parts are combined at the same time so they harmonise with each other, such as sounds and voices are polyphonic. At the left of this page, it allows you to define the polyphonic mode that you want. This allows you to define the maximum number of voices that can be played at the same time in the overall plugin. The ranges are between 1 to 64. You can select the amount by clicking and dragging upwards or downwards. Note that the more voices being used, the more CPU it will use. Since the number represents the maximum voices and not notes, if each key is set to trigger two voices, the maximum number of voices being played will be halved. For example, if each note contained two voices with a maximum number of 40 voices, only 20 notes can be played at the same time within this plugin. This means that polyphony depends on the maximum number of voices and number of voices triggered per note. This allows you to adjust the number of voices triggered per key or note. The default is set to one voice per key, however adding more than one voice will produce a thicker and stacked sound. Below these settings are the mono and poly switch which lets you choose between three modes. This allows you to play a set of notes within the limits of the max and unisono controls. This allows you to play one note at a time. This deals with the pressed or triggered key, not within the amount of voices. You can still have many voices per note, but if one key is pressed, the next key that will be pressed or triggered will release the previous note. This is a special monophonic mode where two notes are played differently to one another, but the difference between them is very subtle. This mode works the same way as the monophonic mode. However, when the previous note is released, it fades quicker to ensure that the sudden stop of this note does not cause a click. Below these settings are the trigger switches. These define how and whether the modulation sources are restarted from the beginning. This restarts the modulation source each time a new MIDI note message is received. This restarts the modulation source whenever a new MIDI note message is received after the previously played note is released. If the previous note is not received and the played MIDI notes are overlapping, this will not restart the modulation source. Even in mono, when a note automatically stops because a new key is played, this trigger still implies. This restarts the modulation source after all notes have been released after receiving a MIDI message. This mode makes trills easier. By holding one note down constantly while pressing the other MIDI note at a specific rate, Note that this trigger can only be used on monophonic and monorotate modes. This allows you to control the voices of the same note and differentiate them from each other. There are three controls in this area. The pitch cutoff, wavetable position and the panorama position. The main concept of these controls will make additional voices distant from the original voice. Each of these three controls has an activation button and a slider which allows you to set the maximum amount of spreading between each voices. They also have numerical fields on each side of the slider allowing you to set the spreading range by semitones and cents. All active notes will spread out equally within its set range. So the more voices that are set per key, the more closer together when they are spread out. This lets you adjust the pitch spread between each played voice. The maximum range are between 12 semitones to negative 12 semitones. 
At the right, there is a detune mode which has two types. This mode symmetrically spreads the pitches around the main pitch. Using this mode within the maximum pitch value as one semitone can result to thicker sounds. This mode alternatively spreads the pitch from above and below the main pitch. This mode is used with higher maximum pitch range to create chord-like sound structures. The range on this section is set as a percentage. This adjusts the wavetable position of the voices spread out around the original voice. This range is not editable, but it allows you to adjust the stereo image of the voices. The far right will give you a full stereo image, middle means mono, and to the far left will result to an inverted stereo image, having the left and right signals being reversed. This ends my tutorial, thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel.